Alright, that's Tim. I got the rancher running as it's supposed to be. Uh, the only thing I've got going on now is my starter. I was thinking it had a ground issue, but it's like it's not throwing. It's not engaging enough. But uh, I had to wind up buying a new wire and harness. I had issues with the other one, so that was. I think I paid about forty dollars. Got a whole new wire and harness and all. And uh, so my starter's not working, but I can use the pull start and get it going. I just kind of put the exhaust on because I think that my float is uh, sticking. Got a little bit of gas leaking up the overflow. But uh let's see if I can't fire it up. But I got the sh the new shifter control unit that's it there, so it was you know, it was completely screwed. Also it wasn't just the harness that was giving me problems. Uh let me try the starter and and here it's just, it's not swinging all the way up and engaging, so I guess it's wore out. Uh, which is weird because it was working. And then now it's not. So, but uh, I got to put wheel spacers on still. And got to bleed the brakes, and I got the center caps and all that. I've got to put on. So, let's see. Hog, a six footer. I got it. I got a heck of a deal on it. It was in great shape. And then my uncle's let me use this, just a scraping blade, and he's got a box blade I can use also. But this sucker fits absolutely perfect. As you can see, that's how much room I've got to spare with having the ramps up and it being all the way to the front. So. You know, I was thinking about going with a seven footer, but there's no way it would have fit. Uh, it, 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 you know, six foot's plenty. But uh, this thing, you can eat off of it. You know, it looked, I got it from a guy who was using a, I believe it was a 10 foot. It wasn't a pull type, but it looked like a pull type. It was a three point hitch type bush hog. And, uh, yeah, so this sucker. I mean, the stickers are in, you know, brand new condition. I think it's the 04 model, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, that's that. But, uh, yeah, my rancher, I've got to put the spacers on, do the brakes, and get the plastic back on it. And there's a ride next weekend, so, hell, even if I've got to use the pull start on it, you know, and I've got to put the radio on it still. I've got the amp and the speakers and uh, I just got to get some six inch PVC pipe from somewhere. Turns out it's not that easy of a thing to get your hands on nowadays without paying out the nose for it. So, but anyway, well, that's it. So I've got it running the way it's supposed to be and just kind of 
running it just for a second today, just checking it out, seeing if the carb needs anything else. I mean, I guess I'm going to take it back down because you can see where the starter is right there. It's got fuel dripping. So, if ever you've got one that's doing that, what that is is that your float is sticking. You've got trash and the float's not, either your float's got a crack in it and it's not coming up and, you know, sealing off your fuel coming in or you got trash in there that's obstructing it and not letting it get through or keeping it from closing completely. You've got seepage. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I have this one uh, hopefully done. I should have it done, you know, plenty in time for next weekend. I don't have that much work left to do, really. You know, it runs great now. Just got to get the plastic going and, you know, just little stuff. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so I'm just trying to remember what all we've talked about in the other ones, so. But, uh,. Yeah, I hadn't, I've just got my winch on here. I haven't got it wired up yet. So, uh, I'll try to get all that all hammered out this week and get you another video. But, uh, the shifter and all, it works like it's supposed to, so that's great. And, you know, it fires right up, even with the pull start, so. That's pretty mean with straight exhaust. Do something about that. I don't know. Take leave the other exhaust off and just do something to. But when it gets hot, I was riding there like it was blowing flames about six inches out of that. I guess I didn't. It's not hot enough to do it now. But uh, anyway.